What's up guys, Double O Dude. Uh, removing the fuel tank and I um, I just learned a lesson and I, I kind of got out here and just started going for it, forgot to film. And uh, taking this tank out without removing the engine is kind of a booger. But I'm working my way towards it and I found, I finally figured out which bolt it was underneath the engine uh, to, or underneath the, the bus that goes to the strap for the gas tank. Started turning it turning, turning, turning. It's working its way off. My arm gets tired. I come out. Oh man, I look at it and this is what I found here. Yeah, I basically um, twisted the, um, the strap on the thing pretty seriously bad. Didn't know I was doing it because I was underneath the bus. And so at this point, I think I'm just going to cut the straps. You can find something to um, cut it with. Um, went to Harbor Freight today. Got one of those cool things right there that you can put things in. I've got my mandrels in there right now, but I was pretty pretty stoked with that. And just been doing some cleanup in here. I have the bus now completely off the ground. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, get the tires off over here pretty soon uh, when, when, when I get in the front when, front wheel well to go at it. I've um, also got a welding table. They had them on sale today so that way I can uh, start fapping up things. I'll have somewhere to actually do it at rather than sitting on the ground. Anyway, I say this is frustrating. It is an understatement. It's just like right there. Sucked. Let's get another option of something to try to get the get the uh, get the tank over. All right. I guess I'll get under there and see if I can even see this bolt on this one. Uh, we'll see. All right. Let's see if we can get up underneath this thing. Okay. That's a, another obstacle I have here is actually locating where the dang bolt is. Does it? Let's get some light up in here. All right, so at this point, I'm just going to cut the strap because it, uh, who knows where this damn bolt is. I, uh, I can't see it. So we'll, uh, we'll just deal with what comes our way. If I have to, I'll make up some new kind of strap to hold the fuel tank down. Let's do this. Okay. The next thing is going to be the hose clamp on the uh, filler. And then, um, then it should come out. Well, for sure, there's not enough room. I've almost got it, but uh, I'm going to have to drop the rear of the engine, so uh, give me a couple minutes and I'll see if I can figure out how to do that one.
that thing is grungy. Anyway guys, I'm gonna clean up now, but um, yeah, that turned into a big pain in the butt, but um, now I know for sure that the uh, fuel tank um, can be pulled out of a Volkswagen bus with a um, 2.0, this is a 79 model, um, without pulling the engine. Had to loosen the engine bolts to drop the engine, but it only dropped like maybe an eighth of an inch. Uh, well, I think the big thing was is that the um, coil was hanging me up.